بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى سيدنا مولانا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم today uh, we will have a discussion on geometric design of highway uh, in order to keep my audience focused i have tried i'm trying to have the shorter videos and try to have uh, the shorter videos with uh, different uh, concepts so my first part is about the general design or what is what we call a design control in in geometric highway as the word suggests these are these parameters that i am going to define controls the geometry of highway uh, basically if we go to the general definition of geometric design of highway what we mean is the design of the visible part of the highway or in other word we are interested in knowing the width or setting out the width of various components of highways or road cross section the first thing that is uh, that actually controls the design is the design speed remember if you go of your drive on a highway then often you come across the circle a sign that having a red circle and it is being it's a number and we all know that is the speed or the allowable speed but the design speed is not that speed or the posted speed you see on your highway and design speed is the maximum speed that can be maintained over specified section of highway when conditions are so favorable that the design features of the highway is covered so it is not the it you can you can see some maximum speed that can be accommodated on a highway but for the safety of the driver we always go the posted speed is 85% of the design that engineer uh, use while there is one more speed that is an operating speed and again this operating speed is the average speed of all the vehicles that are traveling on the road so the selection of the design speed depends on the terrain and functional classification of the highway typical design speed ranges from 50 to 70 miles per hour depending upon the type of terrain level or loy or mountainous uh i will discuss this level rolling or mountainous terrain uh here yeah. after uh, finishing all those design controls or in uh, while i will be finding you the topographic map obviously you have to set the width of your highway as per the traffic volume and this can be it means the number of vehicles that will be using that road in the unit for that uh, measurement is average daily traffic and it classically is the number of count obtained during a day or when it's average daily traffic means for more than one day and divided by the number of days normally if you have to count the traffic count the traffic on tuesday when it is a thursday and that divide by 
uh, we don't consider for designing, we don't consider the traffic on Saturdays, Sundays, and the Mondays, and as well as Fridays in, in Pakistan as well. For example, a traffic count of 52,800 vehicles uh, counted for 30 days with ADT will be 1760 vehicles. Then there comes a more uh, refined traffic that is every annual daily traffic. Now we count traffic for at least 65 days. And similarly, we get the value. Okay. Now, the third is that also contains, that also controls the design, either design hourly volume. And normally, it is 8 to 12 percent of ADT in the urban facility and 12 to 18 percent for a rural facility. Then, there is a directional design hourly volume. It means the one-way volume in the predominant direction for rural and suburban road, this range from 55 to 85%, 80%. Uh, though most people take 50, but all cash to while designing a pavement, I will pavement if it went 0 0.55. And so we can if once we have, uh, say, DHV, we can just multiply by 0 0.55, or uh, we can get DDHV directly from ADT by multiplying the K factor, that was 0 0.8 to 0 0.12, uh, as defined above, and the D that I said is 0 0.055. Then, the vehicle characteristics, obviously, the dimensions of the vehicles plays a significant part in knowing the width of the road, uh, the height of the underpass, height over the over and underpasses, and minimum turning path, uh, and as to states that the vehicle which should be designed normal use in norm design for normal operations is the largest one that represents a significant percentage of percent for the year. Uh, I give you an example. If you are designing for highway, mainly we take of, of a rural highway, normally we take the trucks. Truck, trucks or truck tractor whichever is dominant, but while designing a roads in, in our local section, in housing societies, like for instance, then we take car as our design vehicle. In addition to a design control, there is what also we call elements of design, and that includes is topic side distance, uh, passing side distance, horizontal and vertical alignment. But again, all of these are dependent upon the design controls. Uh, for instance, most all of them are dependent on the post design speed that you have selected. The terrain conditions and uh, vehicle characteristics. So these are what we call uh, the control, design control. And in a nutshell, if you want to define a design control, it means a small change in design control will bring sometimes a radical change in overall design elements of highway. So it's very important that these design controls must be understood, must be well-defined before commencing 
in the actual geometric design of highways. Uh, people uh, use, often use the software and ask the students to uh, draw those uh, alignment on the software. Uh, but my my feeling is that uh, that the student must be start from the basic, and that is what the effort in this uh, video is here. So what happens? What next is we when I we have been asked to design a highway, we have this topographic map and on that topographic map we have to define two main things the urban or rural road and level rolling and mountainous terrain so let's see how we can define it by looking at this topographic map while uh, the map is being loaded, I'll tell you what is the difference between the level terrain, the rolling terrain, and the mountain terrain. Level terrain is something that is a flat slope, no much normal derivations in the profiles, and it's a, an ideal scenario. Then there comes a mountain terrain that has got these steep slopes and that we have to negotiate and there are many there are you know valleys and there are ridges along this terrain in between that there is a terrain that is not level and that is not mountain it's not high in the mountains and not level as, as we define, as we would like to. So this is called a uh, terrain. Uh, and if you look at the definition, it says we have a gentle undulations or rolls in the landscape. These changes in the elevation are not as pronounced as hills or mountains. Rolling terrain is characteristics of the areas where the land generally rises and falls in the continuous manner. So uh, I stop here as my first part on the material design. In the next uh, part, I will discuss how to read a topographic map because it's very important to read the topographic map while designing a design and how from this topographic map you identify urban or rural development or rolling and mountainous terrain. So uh, let's stop here and okay can do this.